हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एसिस्टेड रिप्रोडक्टिव टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ए आर टी सो ए आर टी इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ स्पेशल टेक्निक्स दैट हेल्प्स द इनफर्टाइल कपल टू हैव चिल्ड्रेन वाट इज हेयर अबाउट इनफर्टाइल कपल सो इनफर्टाइल कपल्स आर दोज हु आर एनेबल टू कंसीव और प्रोड्यूस चिल्ड्रेन even after 2 years of consecutive unprotected sexual cohabitation because of advancement of medical science there are so many methods that are developed to sort out such kind of problems all that techniques are categorized under art all these arts are given here so broadly this is categorized into four the first one is in vitro fertilization or ivf this is followed by embryo transfer that is et categorized into two zift and iut zygote intra fallopian transfer and intra uterine transfer second is gamete intra fallopian transfer or gift third is intra cytoplasmic sperm injection that is icsi and fourth is artificial insemination ai or intrauterine insemination that is iui here we will discuss about in vitro fertilization followed by embryo transfer that is ivf or et this technique also known as test tube baby or test tube program in this process ova that is egg or female gamete taken from wife or the respective donor same for sperm that is taken from husband or the respective donor they both are getting fused outside the body that is in vitro so fusion of male and female gamete when occurs outside the body in artificial medium the atmospheric conditions are almost similar to that of female body or female human body the process is known as in vitro fertilization so when we are saying test tube baby only fusion or fertilization of egg occurs outside the body rest of the events that is cleavage which is embryonic mitosis as well as implantation and whole pregnancy occurs inside the respective female body as we discuss in vitro fertilization or embryo transfer is categorized into two gift and iut zygote intra fallopian transfer and intra uterine transfer so in case of gift transfer of zygote or embryo occurs into fallopian tube here zygote is a single cell structure while more than one cell structure after embryonic mitosis is known as embryo so if we are transferring up to 8 blastomere stage embryo inside the fallopian tube this is known as gift blastomeres are the individual cells of embryo so when number of blastomeres or embryonic cells are very less that is 8 or below 8 then further there is need of development that occurs inside the fallopian tube because at the time of implantation we earlier discussed that most probably occurs at 32 celled stage so 8 celled embryo is not suitable for implantation so more time is needed and that's why we have to transfer this one inside the fallopian tube while in intrauterine transfer there is transfer of embryo inside the uterus but here we have to take embryo that is carrying more than 8 blastomeres or maximum up to 32 celled stage because as we discuss at this stage embryo is suitable for implantation one interesting point is given here embryo formed by in vivo fertilization what is in vivo fertilization so when fusion of gametes that is male and female gametes occur inside the fallopian tube so as we know the site of fertilization in human female body is ampullary region of fallopian tube or 
uterian tube so this occurs if in natural condition inside the body this fertilization is known as in vivo while if fertilization occurs outside the body in artificial medium this is in vitro so when we are using ivf this is mainly for in vitro fertilization but as we know in vivo fertilization also carrying the same initials so there may be confusion about ivf but usually ivf is about in vitro fertilization so embryo also could be used for such transfer to assist those females who cannot conceive louis brown female was world's first test tube baby born in england on 25th of july 1978 while in case of india first test tube baby was born on 3rd october 1978 in kolkata and that was named as durga robert edwards won 2010 nobel prize for the test tube baby technique and he was related with the birth of louis brown in few rare cases a developing embryo is implanted in the uterus of another female the female who substitutes or takes the place of the real mother to nurse the embryo is called surrogate mother and the process is known as surrogacy surrogacy is used when a particular female is not capable to carry their pregnancy or gestation period this may be because of non supportive uterus or may be involvement in a particular job there may also be some other reasons these kind of practices are very common in western countries but india this is not a very common method second is given here gamete intra fallopian transfer that is gift or gift in this process there is transfer of ovum that is collected from donor into fallopian tube of another female who cannot produce but can provide suitable environment for fertilization and further development here the particular female who is unable to produce ovum for that female this technique is suitable here there is transfer of egg or ovum in gift fertilization and cleavage that is embryonic mitosis all these events occurs inside the fallopian tube and followed in uterus that's why this is in vivo fertilization fertilization inside the body in natural condition is in vivo while outside the body this is in vitro the third technique is artificial insemination technique known as ai or ait this also known as intrauterian insemination or iui here in this technique semen either collected from the husband or from a donor is artificially introduced either into the vagina of respective female or into their uterus this is iui when semen introduced inside the uterus artificially this is iui that is intrauterian insemination this method is followed when male partner is unable to achieve an erection of penis to inseminate or the male partner is suffering from very low sperm count in semen that is oligospermia or may also be condition when sperms are dead or there is no sperm in their semen that is eu spermia the fourth method is intracytoplasmic sperm injection that is icsi here in this technique sperm is directly injected into the ovum in a culture medium in laboratory and then there is zygote formation this zygote or embryo after cleavage is transferred in the fallopian tube or uterus of that respective female icsi is very similar to that of in vitro fertilization but here there is a difference in icsi a single sperm 
is directly inserted in ovum while in case of in vitro fertilization for a single egg there is huge number of sperms though options are many for a couple looking for parenthood in the form of art but all these requires specialized professionals and expensive instrumentation that's why these techniques are presently available only in few centers of our country beside being costly there are emotional religious and social factors that also are the reasons for a couple to adopt these techniques in india there are so many orphanages and our law also permits legal adoption till now this is one of the best method for parenthood of infertile couple